Imagine a galaxy where the Jedi and Sith have mastered the art of lightsaber combat, where the sound of clashing blades echoes through the stars and the fate of the galaxy hangs in the balance. But what if there was another form of combat, one that is shrouded in secrecy and is rarely spoken of? A form that is so deadly and unorthodox that even the Jedi and Sith have not dared to master it. Welcome to Trakata, the lightsaber form that turns the very weapon of the Jedi and Sith into a tool of deception and manipulation. Trakata is not like the other forms of lightsaber combat, such as Shicho, Makashi, or Sorisu. It does not rely on strength or precision, but on deception and manipulation. It uses the lightsaber's unique ability to be turned on and off against an opponent, tricking them into opening their defense and leaving them vulnerable to a swift and deadly attack. But this new form of combat is not for the faint of heart. It requires a level of cunning and bravery that even the Jedi and Sith have not been able to master. It is a form that goes against their very nature, as the Jedi and Sith rely on the lightsaber as a tool of defense and not as a weapon of deception. Join me as we dive deep into the history and philosophy of Trakata and discover the hidden world of lightsaber combat. Witness the power and danger of this deadly form and see how it has shaped the fate of the galaxy. Welcome to Star Wars Empire, and before we begin, please like and subscribe to our videos to receive updates. But before we get into the different moves of the form, let's first cover why exactly it was so effective. Consider a duel between two knights. Both wield swords that are the same length, width, and weight. The blades match perfectly. The knights can be certain that if they move closer to their opponent's blade, they will meet it, grind against it, and their weight will collide. Assume one of these knights magically retracts his sword's blade the last second, causing his opponent to trip over his own weight, and then the knight can reactivate his blade and strike his opponent on the back side. This is how Trakata functions. It takes advantage of the lightsaber's unique nature against unsuspecting combatant, and as we can see from the example, it can easily become a very lethal form of attack. Of course, it poses risks to the user, because their only defense now would be temporarily compromised. However, However, this is why they frequently waited until the last possible second to perform the maneuver, reducing as much risk to themselves as possible. But now that we fully understand how the style works, let's get into specific moves. Past the Blade It was a duelist technique that required him to deactivate his saber during an attack, allowing him to avoid his opponent's defensive strike and ignite his blade beyond that point to slice through the opponent. Unbalanced Block it demanded that the duelist temporarily clash blades with the opponent in a saber lock. With the blades grinding against each other, the duelist then deactivates his saber to remove the opponent's supporting weight from the blade, causing the opponent to stumble and leave himself open to attack. Flash Slash enabled the duelist to feint, tricking his opponent into defending themselves against the phantom blade. The duelist had to temporarily activate their lightsaber while swinging, allowing it to reach full length and then instantly deactivate it. This feint enabled subsequent strikes that would disarm or kill the opponent. Finally, let's look at Trakata nature. Trakata is an intriguing lightsaber form that would undoubtedly pose a deadly threat to anyone who came into contact with it. Now, it may appear that the Jedi and Sith avoided this form due to its inherent danger, which is correct, but it is actually due to the form's philosophical nature. It was a practical form that required the use of deception at the heat of battle, which meant you couldn't have the same determination or patience as the Jedi or Sith. By converting your saber's primary function into a weapon, you are departing from both the Jedi and Sith's primary uses for the lightsaber, which is its blade. The Sith's strength and battle prowess stemmed from their ability to channel their rage into their blade and use it as an extension of their rage, and this is how they frequently overpowered their opponents through brute force. The Jedi, however, are more patient and mindful combatants, using the lightsaber as a defensive tool and relying on the force for guidance and precision. They are more concerned with protecting others and themselves than defeating their opponents. It goes against their very nature to use their lightsaber as a deceptive and lethal weapon. Their entire philosophy revolves around maintaining peace and rejecting the dark side, and it would be very dark of you to deceive and manipulate your opponent into such a quick and perhaps cheap or cowardly death. So that's Dracana fully explained. I hope you enjoyed learning about this unique style of combat and how it differs from traditional forms used by the Jedi and Sith. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more Star Wars content like this. Also, let us know down in the comments what other lesser known aspects of the Star Wars universe you'd like us to cover in future videos.